Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Nathan, this is Robot Masters. So I'm super excited today because we got a cool robot vacuum by Deezer. Yes, a very interesting name. I've never heard of this company, but I've seen them around on Amazon. They have several models. They also have a website, www.deezer.com. And check out that website because they have like a lot of different models. They got like the 23T, which is the latest model, but they also have the 21T, they got the 20T, and they vary in power sections and capabilities. But this is DC's high-end model, the 23T. What's so great about it is it offers Wi-Fi connectivity, so you can control with your smartphone, you can do scheduling, you also can control it with Alexa and Google, and lastly, you can control it with the handheld remote. So this thing has so many ways to control it, it's just mind-blowing. Also, I checked the specs, this is actually a really powerful vacuum at 2200 pascals. Yes, 2200 pascals of suction. I was like, what? This thing's being out the Roblox because I believe the Roblox is 2,000 pascals. Hold on one second, I'm having to deal with my uh, Shiba. Hello, Shiba. Good boy. I'm sorry about that. I get sidetracked easily. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, get the tab opened up here. And we'll just lift this guy up. Oh, okay, you guys ready? One, two, three. Wow, this is really cool. So here's the instructions. For Very cool. I like this little quick start guide. Oh, let's get out of it. Alright, so here's the instruction manual. This guy opened up real quick. Alright, I think I get worse each time I do an unboxing here. And I want to thank Deezer for sending me this product out in exchange for a review. So thank you, Deezer. Okay, very cool. I like their warranty card. They have a customer service line. So I really like the fact that they uh, are devoted for customer service to after in sales. So that really shows that Deezer cares about basically the before, after, and in sales. And they also have all their parts on their website, www.deezer.com. And here's their little booklet here. Very nice. You can see all the great information about it. And it's in different languages as well. Here's a foamy thing. I always like this because I always get a free hat. I think I'm really cool. Okay, here's the robot. Very, very nice. Nice and shiny. Eh, pretty good. Oh no, look, I ripped it. Alright, let's have a quick look at the robot. Very clean look. I like the kind of glossy finish. And I don't know if about the dust prints or fingerprints. It looks like it will probably collect a bunch. But it's a simple two button design. You got your main on and off button right here, it probably acts as a play pause button as well, and then you got your dedicated home button right here to go home and recharge. Very clean look, I like it Deezer. Okay, let's check the back here, just hold down this button here and it pops out the dustbin. So just check out my last video, the K600, well this dustbin reminds me of it, it's very similar, same size, that's 0.6 liters or 600 milliliters. Very cool. Let's uh, go ahead and get this guy opened up. So here's the filter, and it's a dual filter system. That was the main filter, and this is like your mesh filter, very nice. And if you opened up this top here, you can see the dust bin. Very large at 600 milliliters. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, look underneath the robot. It has an extra filter right here. I'm just kidding with you guys. Get that out of there. Nothing out of the ordinary. You got your dual side brushes, which I like. Hopefully they don't spend a million miles per hour. You also have your charging contacts, your front wheel caster. It looks like we got one, two, three cliff sensors. So this guy won't fall down the stairs. You got your DC information right here. Very nice. I also like the fact that it's easy to replace the battery. Just held on by two screws. Just remove the cover. And on the website, you can replace the battery fairly easy. Order a new one. Combo style brush, bristles, and silicone. Here are adjustable wheels. Works really well, and they look very large, so they can transition over concrete thresholds. And in the back there's a clear dustbin. I like that because you can check and see how much dirt you have in your dustbin without having to check it. Alright, so here's a couple other things I noticed. is this switch right here. It's covered. It has like a little plastic housing grid for keeping moisture out. So that's awesome that this is thinking about moisture as well. I like physical switches, so when you're on vacation for long periods of time, you just shut the robot off, and it's not going to drain its battery down. Also, there's like a little holes right here. What is that? Well, this is the speaker grill, so this robot either beeps at you or talks at you. Very nice. Good job, Deezer. Okay, let's just open this up. There's the retainer or housing. 
and here's the extractor bar. Very nice. It's the standard size of most robot vacuums these days. Alright, let's see what else is in the box. Looks like we have our charging base right here. And I actually feel it has some weight to it. Okay, so this is a really cool looking charger. And one nice thing is they actually have a cutout for your cable so you can wrap the cables around. But it looks very similar to the K600 where you can put the remote up top. Very nice. Looks like we've got our dual side brushes, and they're not labeled, so they're probably universal. They can either go left or right. And they're actually quite long, and you're probably wondering, what in the world is this? Well, this helps keep the dirt away from the axles as it's spinning. Very cool. It's like a self-cleaning brush for the brush. Mind-blowing. Okay, so yes, there's quite some force to push down in there, but it seems like it's sturdy, and they're not going to pop off, which is a nice touch. It looks like we got an AC adapter. Unfortunately, we cannot plug this directly into the robot. You have to use the charging base. This charger is it works overseas, 100 to 240 volts. So awesome job. We got an extra set of side brushes here. A cleaning tool, very nice. Has our cutter up here, and you got our bristles, and you got a comb to help comb the hair off the extractor bar. You also have two battery strips. I believe they're like five feet each. Very nice. We got this thing. I have no clue what it is. I think it's just for packaging. And we got another side brush here. It comes with a spare set of side brushes. Lastly, we have AAA batteries for the handheld remote. So it's really awesome that companies are starting to include the batteries for the remote controls. So you don't have to buy anything additional out of the box. And here's the handheld remote. Okay, let's have a quick look at the remote here. There's a lot of features. Up top is your screen for scheduling. So yes, you can schedule the robot directly on the remote control. Don't need to use the app, so that's a really cool feature. You also have the auto button. You got your home button right here. You got your directional control pad, your play pause button. Down here is your clock to schedule. You also have the silence button, so if you don't want notifications, just press that button. You also have a spot clean button, you have an edge clean, so the robot can go around your baseboards, kill the dirt off. You also have a uh, sp spiral function or a dedicated like clean pattern, and last you have a max button. So that's just really cool, this remote has a lot of great features, and you could basically do everything on the robot with this handheld remote. Okay, last thing that's in the box is an extra filter, so sweet, there's a lot of accessories that come with the Deezer 23T. Everything that's included, I'm excited to get this charged up and we'll go ahead and get paired up to my smartphone. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into the Deezer Life app. Once you have the robot paired up to your smartphone, it will actually show the icon there. The pairing process was pretty straightforward and very simple to operate. Once you get to the main home screen, you can see the battery life, see the name of the robot, the time it has cleaned. Down below is all the basic functions. Now, with the remote control function, you can do auto, spot, edge, home, bind me, and fan regulate, which is basically a, a power setting. In the upper right hand corner is the menu button. So this is fairly basic. You can change the name of your robot. So you also have device details, shared device, and consumables. So it allows you to track your consumables, which is a nice little touch. You can also check the firmware, and the robot will check for you. Also, you have scheduling, which is fairly basic. It's in 24-hour time format. Also, you have the ability to change the days, select the days you want the robot to go out. So, I like the simple ease of operation. Um, unfortunately, this robot doesn't have smart mapping, so you won't see a live map on the screen. Alright, let's go ahead and see how well this robot vacuum can pick up some dirt and debris. Okay, let's go ahead and check out the dry weight of this robot vacuum's dustbin. One thing to know is the dustbin is quite large at 600 milliliters. Most modern robot vacuums range anywhere from 200 milliliters up to about 1000 milliliters. So you can wash the dustbin, just remove the filter prior, and then once you're done, just let it air dry. And you can also lightly tap the filter to remove all the dust particles. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put 1 ounce of plastic beads, and we'll do about 0.6 ounces of chips and then about 0.43 ounces of fun dip to get a total of about 2.03 ounces. In this pickup challenge, we're going to try a different variety of debris from powder to large chunks of candy to chips to plastic beads and we'll see how well the robot can keep from scattering the debris around. Alright, 
At 2200 pascals of suction, the robot's quite quiet at 58 decibels, so you could probably run this at night on its medium to low powered suction mode. You may notice that the robot missed a lot during debris on the first pass, but since this is a random navigating robot, it will go ahead and go over the same areas more than once in a small room. There's even a dedicated button that allows the robot to do a concentrated single room cleaning for 30 minutes and then it shuts off. The robot had no problem transitioning onto this quarter inch thick rubber mat. I believe the spec calls out for about 0.83 inches, so it does fairly well transitioning over carpet, thresholds, and other very height objects. So if you like these types of pickup challenges, please smash the like button because it really helps me gauge if you like these style of videos. Also, if you're new to my video, welcome. My name's Nathan. This is Real Masters. I've been getting a lot of products to review on my channel. And I thank all of you guys for watching. Also, all my partnerships for seeing out these products for free in exchange for a review. So that's really awesome. Helps keep this channel going. Also, I provide a lot of unboxings. I do reviews. I do head-to-head. -head. And if you have a question, Please hit me down in the comments below because I do try to respond within a few hours. So I'm still scratching my head on why the side brushes have to spin so fast. I've tested a handful of robot vacuums that use dual side brush designs and they do spin quite fast. This is fine for like this scenario where it's going around the baseboards kicking the debris away. But out in the open area they should spin slower. So hopefully this robot can update its firmware to spin slower and it should not scatter the debris as much. Who is this robot vacuum for? Well, this robot vacuum is designed for someone with a smaller home, maybe 1500 square feet or less. Also, the robot can clean a larger home, but I usually just shut the doors and have it concentrate in a single room because it does best with its random navigating pattern. You also have the ability to block off areas with a magnetic strip, so you don't necessarily have to use physical barriers. Also, one nice thing about this robot vacuum is it has a handheld remote, so if you don't use a smartphone app, you can always control most of the features with the handheld remote. The robot does fine on most types of terrain, hardwood floors, carpet, medium to low profile carpet. If you have really thick carpet or trying to vacuum a shag rug, the robot will struggle, but keep in mind that most robot vacuums that I review on this channel cannot vacuum a shag rug. I have done several tests on this. What do you guys think? How is the DJ doing? Just from observing how it behaves, I think it's doing really well. It usually covers most of the area. There is some minor debris around my oven range. If you're interested in buying this robot vacuum, now's the time to buy it because I do offer a $100 coupon. I don't know how long that coupon is good for, but it's probably good for about a month or so. So go ahead and check that out. So it makes this robot vacuum about $169, which is a good value considering that it has Wi-Fi capabilities. Also has that 2200 Pascal of suction, that's something you don't usually find on a robot vacuum that costs $200 or less. So let me know down in the comments if you guys prefer random navigation or more of a smart back and forth cleaning pattern. And don't go just yet because I'll show you the results and spoiler alert, the results are quite impressive, over 95%. Okay, let's have a quick look at the app here. It shows that we're at 29 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and stop this test at 30 minutes. That's what I did with my previous robot vacuum test and we'll try to see if they can outperform the last two robot vacuums I did on this channel. So if you have any questions or concerns about these robot vacuums, please shoot me up down in the comments below. I also have a website www.robottechreviews.com that showcases a lot of these latest robot vacuums. Also, my website's designed to have a communication system, so you can shoot me a message there and I'll respond as well. So I do get emails and comments from you guys and we'll respond within an hour or so. So thanks for watching and look at this guys. The robot did a pretty good job picking out all different types of debris from the large chunks of candy to the powder to the chips. Looks like it's going to do a really good job. Let's see. Okay, so this was the highest going random robot vacuum I have on my channel. So thanks again for watching. I hope you guys are safe out there and I'll see you guys next time. So stay tuned for some more well, vacuum head-to-head -head challenges. I'm also going to do some more unboxings, navigations, and I got some new products coming along, some air purifiers, also some different types of robot vacuums. Maybe the Nawa is going to come to this channel. Who knows? Stay tuned and find out.